Hi and welcome to another episode uh, in the was it previous or the one before that I had a competition to win a laser and I have zero correct results so what I'm gonna do is in this episode I'll have some flashing numbers on the screen if you add those together you will get a number and the first one who got that correctly I'll send the laser to We laid some floor inside the stables. This week we are going to do this. We've ordered the metal uh, beam that's going to go up here. We have the supports that's going to support the ceiling while we do work. And now we are going to see if we can get the flooring done in the office. We tried this last winter and it was just too cold. And we heard that about 10-15 degrees is the lowest we can go in temperature when doing this, so it's about time. So we'll see if we can get the flooring glued, because as you, some of you remember, uh, this is how some bits of the floor is. Uh, far from all of it, but we have a few areas which need some work. So we have removed it some pieces of the floor and we'll uh, start gluing these ones in and then continue over here. a few pieces uh, we ran out of glue we just bought one tube uh, to see how well it works because it's rather expensive glue so we'll see um, we are probably going to need another four or five tubes if this works hey Tony the flooring we put in yesterday uh, sticks very good however we have quite a bit more loose than we thought so we're going to need quite a lot more glue. Basically, this whole area is loose. Um, so we might as well do it properly once. So but today we're gonna do a lot of gluing, I guess. Now is preparing for the uh, steel beam that's going to go in and we'll drill a few holes, we'll then attach a wooden piece that's going to uh, hold the bricks so that they won't fall down. rain continues and the mud continues. Jimmy doesn't really care though. Uh, we have been boarding up the stables since we don't have the windows here and let's do a quick explanation what happened. Basically we ordered these windows in December last year and we were promised them in end of February I think and for the villa we were promised them in the end of March. We still haven't got them. Um, so basically what we've done now, since he doesn't deliver, we've filed a lawsuit against him, uh, which basically means it's going to take a year or two to settle this. Worst case scenario. He did reply today actually and said he'll deliver these windows between the 15th and 25th of November, which I doubt. Anyway. Uh, we will continue the lawsuit and uh, reclaim our money and so on so that we can continue the build. 
and we might just order some new windows for the villa. So the supports are in and the reason why we put this one in is because we want to keep the bricks up here not to fall down and uh, so we put uh, these bolts that went through and through and then we put hammer nails in just to grip the bricks so that uh, hopefully everything stays intact, uh, especially on this side where we have the painted ceiling. So basically we want to support all of this so that it doesn't start falling down well, once we take down the bricks that are here in the opening that we're making. So I guess tomorrow morning uh, we get the steel beam. New day and today we have this tool, we're going to cut this, but we're going to do it from the kitchen side where we mounted the scaffold so that we can lift this machine up because it's rather heavy. So this is the plan for today and then after that, I don't know, we'll see how far we get. Maybe do some work in here. We Flooring is more or less finished, I think. And next up is the wall paneling. So unfortunately, uh, we won't be able to cut today uh, because the steel beam that we ordered four days ago is another four days. So um, I'm gonna go return the saw and we'll do some work in here instead. So um, let's continue or start with the wall panels. as well as on this wall, uh, because here we're building a Murphy bed. And that's the reason why we left some space there. So it's basically gonna be a box here that contains a Murphy bed, but it's also gonna look like it's a wall panel, but with a shelf on top of it. So yeah, let's continue uh, with the handling. So we are back, uh, we went and tried to get some um, things for the wall panels, for the squares that's going to go in the wall panels, uh, but they were closed. Uh, and we have also decided that we're going to put wall lights here, 
uh, here, here, and as well as here and here. Uh, over here, we're going to drill the holes and do the cabling from the back side. But on these, we're going to trace down behind the panel. So we're going to remove these two panels and put another tube in here just to prepare for the electrician. Another morning and we are continuing working on the wall panels. Uh, late yesterday we went and bought some new uh, wood stuff for the panels and we draw some designs. One was this, which we discarded, and the other one was this one, which we'll go for. So it will be uh, more squares to do, but uh, easier to fit and, and uh, I think a better design. So what we'll do now is we'll start cutting strips on the saw table and start placing them. And here's the experts. Ciao. So we are slowly getting there. This side is the MDF board is finished. We just need to put these ones on, uh, which is going to go in here. And we are working on these at the bottom, and then we'll do the top bits. And I think we're going to finish that today, and then start working on the tiny bits, the details. So we are done with the OSB and now we're going to start putting these ones in everywhere. And for those wondering, no, this is not the way it's going to be. Uh, we might do the brass, uh, this piece, but we're definitely not going to do white inserts. Uh, anyway, we're happy with that. And actually, Got really nice fitment everywhere. I don't think we're gonna need much wood filler. It's basically perfect. Okay, so cue the time lapse again.
So it's a brand new morning and what are we doing? I have no idea. As usual. <laughs> As usual. Okay. Uh, we are working on the top piece and we are also going to put some things underneath and as well as above. So um, that's the plan for today. We are only going to do this bit here. We can't do this because we don't have the things for the Murphy bed yet. So we can't do the attachment that's going to go around this box as well as on this side. But we will be able to finish most of this piece today. set it's fairly newly glued and we're gonna continue with those tiny pieces and yesterday I ordered this which is a scissor for cutting at different angles and it cuts basically the wood we need another day and we are starting to get hang of it. This tool has been a lifesaver and uh, we have done I don't know about 70 cuts maybe and we have another 60 to go. Um, so yeah. 75 years later. section of the wall panel is more or less finished. I still have some bits here. Uh, I'm super happy with the result. We just need bits of wood filler and we'll be fine and then some paint. And we also need to do this. Uh, but that's gonna be for another episode. Also the rounding of this edge is very nice. Okay guys, I'm gonna end it here. I sincerely hope I get a winner for the laser uh, so I can end that competition and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, ciao!